everybody welcome back to my channel this is jasmine's world and of course i'm your host jasmine and today we're gonna do something with this because yeah. so my hair has been in this curly wavy state for about three to four days i've been doing bantu knots at night and i just cannot do bantu knots anymore so what i'm gonna try to do today is some flat twists i'm not gonna do a lot but i'm gonna do enough to where i have a curl instead of a wave because this wavy texture is cool but i'm ready for transition into something a little bit more curly and then transition into back into my natural curl pattern okay guys so today i'm only going to be using one product and one product only and it's from the main choice it is the tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture once out of leave-in conditioner and i thought that it would be best to use a leave-in because i didn't want something too thick because i still want my hair to be stretched i don't want my hair to like revert all the way i want it to be elongated as possible as elongated as possible so i was like let me try something that's a little bit thinner in um consistency instead of trying to use like a super thick cream to do these flat twists so so i'm gonna start by brushing my hair out like that's the first step for me always and i'm using my wet brush that you can purchase at target i also think they have them at walmart i don't know where else they have them but i know those places for sure um I think mine ran me about $10 a piece because I have two because I just know when there are good things you want to just go ahead and just stock up on it but yeah I'm just brushing through my hair so I'm gonna do about six flat twists that's the goal so that I have a tighter coil um, if you watched my last video well not my last video but my last hair video on um, my bantu knots that I did you will know that I did four bantu knots and it made my hair curly but it was more of a wavy curly like what you saw earlier and I kind of want to curl this time so that's what we're going for guys so my hair is way too straight to be trying to do a flat twist so I'm gonna try and just spray a bit of water just to get it just for the ends because I feel like the top will be fine but the ends is what's really getting it like i need it to be a little bit wet doesn't have to be soaking but just as long as it reverts just a tad i think i'll be fine so i'm just kind of spraying that and you can kind of see it's just a little wet and it should start to curl up just a little bit by the time I get to the bottom of twisting and I feel like I keep adding more and more of this stuff but you know it is what it is like maybe I should have used <laughs> maybe I should have used a thicker cream now to get into it but also as you guys know I don't really do twist out so I'm more of a I'm more of a wash and go girl so this is definitely different for me so I'm really trying y'all I really am like seriously it's reverting now it took a minute but it's getting there okay so let's try this again y'all we're about to do this again <laughs> okay okay I will say that it is easier to flat twist when your hair is straight, but I feel like it stays, it definitely stays better when you actually have your, when your hair is actually curly. can see my hair is reverting at the ends and I feel like you can see the twist a lot better now that I decided to actually wet my ends and I'm gonna take my brush and just brush through it just so it's as smooth as possible so I'm just twisting down the shaft we're finally getting somewhere 
Okay. Okay. I'm just twisting the ends like so, like this. I mean, it's not the best, but it's better than what it was because before I was like, ah, I'm not sure. Okay guys, so I just finished doing all six of the flat twists. This side clearly looks better than this side. I have a habit of doing better the more I do it. So I'm probably going to redo these real quick because they look so bad. And I'll be back. So I took the second one out and it actually didn't look that bad. But I'm still going to, of course I'm going to have to redo it now. But I'm still going to redo the back one because it's super loose and it's not really to the scalp. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm not the best at getting things to the scalp, so it is a little loose, which is fine with me. But this one is extremely, like, if y'all can see how it's not to my scalp there, this is a lot more to, I mean, it's a little bit more to my scalp. But this is what I look like. I look like a little bow wow. little bow wow. You just don't know. I feel like I'm about to start wrecking but this is what it looks like i'm going to go to sleep because it's nighttime and i'll be back tomorrow so you guys can get the full view of what my hair is looking like i'm also going to add some oil to my scalp just to massage it and stuff but yeah i'll be back tomorrow so y'all can see how it turned out hey guys good afternoon I have had these and they should, I've had these all night and most of the majority of the day. They should be good now. They feel dry to me. So I'm going to put some oil on my hands and I'm going to start unraveling and we're going to see how it turned out. I'm using the main choice, growth oil. I'm going to just do that, rub it on my hands and we're going to start unraveling. Okay, so this is what it looks like before anything is done to it after taking them out. This side looks way better. Maybe I should have redid this side too. But I'm gonna put some oil on my scalp and then I'm gonna start going in and like fluffing and stuff and pulling apart. So. I always do this with whatever style I'm doing, I kind of twist and go in with. I'm going to start pulling apart where it, you know, naturally pulls apart. I don't want to create a whole bunch of frizz.
so just go up there and, and just picking and pulling, picking and pulling. definitely a little bit frizzy on the side but me personally I don't mind a little frizz but that might just be me I mean it's cute I think it's really cute but you can't see my earrings but I think it's super cute like I really like the curl pattern it gave me I feel like I look like I had like um spiral curl rollers and definitely just pull my earring off but I I like it I want to try to do a side part really quick kind of do a side part so it's gonna be interesting to see what I think about this. I think I may like it better in the middle part, which is very interesting because I'm normally a side part type of girl. I mean, it's cute, but I I don't know. I kind of I think I like the I think I like the side part better. I mean, the middle part better. So my first ever flat twist twist out whatever this is what it looks like frizzy but who cares hey guys thank you all so much for watching yet another one of my videos i hope that it was helpful as well as educational for you guys and if so please don't hesitate to like comment share and of course subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time i post new content have a blessed day